Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we are taking a look at Paris Promenade 2T in the Daisy Cup for this week's rankings. We're going to be looking at a run full combo, uh, maintaining it throughout the track. We're going to also be looking at the driver kart glider setup. This will be a run that does not involve a top tier glider. What I mean by that is one that gives you a big combo time boost, which made it extra difficult. Um, thankfully, a trick level isn't is probably the better one to get it on because the trick level is easier to maintain your combo on. But still a very difficult level with only going in with the mild, the, the mid combo boost. Um, so we're going to be looking at driver cart setup and the best lines to take, how to use items and your free item spin to maintain it. Um, let's go. So driver, I did get really fortunate in this week's pulls from my launches and got two pink shy guys, which gives me a 4% chance, 3% chance of, of um, initiating a frenzy with that so and you'll see that I made a big help within this run uh, if you do have obviously it's f because they both have the same special skill if you do have both of them um, which I know will probably be very few because yeah, they're both ridiculous odds chances of pulling from this week's launches uh, you may be going in with your two item boxes so it can still be done I think with with that setup I'd probably if you've got it at highest, Pauline is going to be your best bet. Lucky Seven's a killer special skill. Um, second, Daisy with the heart. That will be a free addition to your combo to help you maintain certain difficult areas. Otherwise, Luigi Fire Flower probably isn't as good. It's not as reliable for getting a, a guarantee towards your combo. Um, but because this is quite a tight track, it could, it, could, it could easily get a hit with it. Main focus on... Um, on going into the car, actually, just to mention, Pauline Party Time would be your best choice there, obviously, with the coin box. So, Kart Glider, we have three different um, high end cuts that hopefully will have one in each. Um, with you've got Bumble V, that will be one with probably the worst special skill being the dash panel plus. Not many dash panels in this, if any, I think. Um, because these ones have jump boost plus and there are plenty of jumps within this track so I recommend going in with one of them if you have the choice then it comes to glider the most difficult part as I said do not have the big combo time boost in this if you were lucky enough to bring to, to actually get one from the launches the sweetheart glider or if from a previous tour you pulled royal parachute then you'll probably breeze through this a lot easier than most people. We'll be going in with a level 2 pink flower glider, which I do think makes all the difference, being that 10% combo time is huge compared to a 5% combo time. So if you have a ticket, it's only going to take one, invest it in taking that to level 2 if it's your only choice. Otherwise, you might have one of these high-end gliders and that'll initiate you, it bring you in at 10% combo time straight away. You might even be fortunate to get it at level two. So let's look at this run. Going in, I was, I was pretty, pretty. What, what is going on with this? <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> three, two. Right. So my tip for the start is may seem a little unorthodox, but right from the start, you want to throw yourself into the side. This is not a hard track to win. So at the very beginning, I recommend going. Taking that to, to take you back into 6th, 7th, 8th, that way you will probably get a mushroom or a um, heart to maintain this difficult area. Now, I was fortunate enough to pull a red shell frenzy. Now, if I was coming up first, I probably wouldn't have got it, but also I wouldn't have got as many hits as I did. So initiating the start of that track with a huge amount of combos was really helpful. Now, the reason why I do that is because you want to without the frenzy you want to have enough mushrooms so you can build up your pink sparks to, to after you land throughout the difficult section then it's pretty straightforward in terms of setup you want to go for these bigger ramps you'll get two jump boosts and the two combos because the, the, the two coins because they're so close together not too difficult to get so i'll show you what i mean by the pink sparks in the second run i recommend going for the inner track here even though there are three coins there you do have enough time to get to them but also because you're taking a tight line it'll be easier to maintain into that jump second lap fortunate enough to pull a coin frenzy here um but same setup you want to leave that as long as possible so you can mini turbo boost into that 
Right, so here's what I mean by the second track. We do not pull a, um, a, a any, anything to help us maintain there. So we have to try and maintain it through using, using items. This is where I recommend to use your item spin because it is harder to, to pull pink sparks on that. But if I were to pull pink sparks on the moment I've landed, hit the coins, and then I would release uh, the pink sparks. Going into here, you want to make sure you get that boost after so you have enough time to get pull an item that will help you maintain it. Just, I had to go back, so I don't like doing this, but I have to go back to this section to show you. This is why I did an item spin. A little bit fortunate, but through my, my uh, green shell and managed to get hit, which was what maintained it through there, connecting to that ramp, because it does take a while to get up there from the coins that you get previously. Come around this corner, same lines you want to take. You want to be going for these two coins, starting to turn right, which you might be able to bring up a, build up a mini turbo there as well, if you're fortunate enough. Uh, should really be getting the two, but at this point I was just like, maintain this combo. I was like, eh, I didn't want to waste it, so I was taking no chances. Uh, we come into the final, that's what I mean by taking the tight line, so you get a mini turbo into that part, and then finish on 113 combo time for what is a pretty short track. And yes, it was massively helped by my coin frenzy um, and the red shell frenzy, which came probably the best time with so many people in front of me. But really, the main thing you want to look at doing is is using that technique at the beginning so i'll just show you what i mean without frenzy to help you out so let's think about it probably be one of these setups so i tend to throw myself into the side gives you a really good chance of pulling mushrooms so i'm holding my spin here so turning left use a one mushroom to get me through here you can see now i'm building up sparks get those two coins got pink sparks release that gives me enough time to get into that coin and over. Do that, and I think you'll be set up quite nicely for this part, which is easy to maintain unless somebody hits you with a red shell um, through that part. And then it is just take a tight line there, get your mini turbos to connect those sections, and you should be all right using that item spin on the second time round. You will need a little bit of luck getting something as you drop, and maybe a little bit of extra luck with that green shell frenzy, green shell hit that I got. Um, but apart from that, that's Paris Promenade. It ended up with a pretty, pretty good um, good score with 12,500, which is pretty, pretty damn good depend considering the fact that this is not one that I'm going with the you know top tier glider. So I'm pretty happy with that. Comparing it to what other people have got in my you know, friends and in the opponents list, we've got you know 8,000 there. Jimmy's done pretty good considering the score for that. Gangster will probably be pushing a higher score with, with going in with coin box and then going in with uh, a top tier glider. See nobody's nobody's rocking over seven thousand just yet in the friends. Opponents wise, this guy is eleven thousand. So I haven't even touched Toad Circuit, so you'll see my score is I just went in, that was just me trying to get experience for um my, my my coupling and my gold glider i just went in oh yeah i was just trying to uh i've got all my gliders maxed out now so it doesn't matter okay well hopefully you found that happy <laughs> found that happy found that helpful um if you have please leave a like on the video below hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content i will be releasing a hopefully full combo definitely got to be done on rainbow road and then on Toad Circuit as well, so look out for that. Apart from that, it's all for this one. See you guys soon.